This is a Fox News alert. The North Korean regime appears to be moving toward a nuclear test on Saturday. That would be defying warnings, explicit ones from the Trump administration, of a possible preemptive strike if they attempt to execute the test. Saturday is the birthday of Kim Il-sung. He is the founder of North Korea. And if any day is likely to see some explosions, it is that one. It's already Saturday morning on the Korean Peninsula. So the test or a U.S. strike could conceivably come at any time. North Korea's military has issued a statement warning it would annihilate American troops in South Korea, quote, within minutes if it is attacked. Now at 11, tensions in North Korea. The communist country celebrates its founder amid fears the government is planning a nuclear test this weekend. We have live pictures from North Korea. From those tensions, there was a parade earlier that we've been watching. It's still going on right now. And this is the U.S. response, what the Air Force calls an elephant walk. 22 F-15s armed and ready to scramble from a base in Japan, 900 miles from the North Korean capital, a massive show of firepower for the North to see. Seemingly a world away, President Donald Trump is once again spending the weekend here in South Florida, where decisions made on our back porch could have implications across the globe. CBS 4 Silva Harapetian is live for us from Palm Beach, the location of the president's Mar-a-Lago resort. Silva? Good evening. He's spending his weekend, his long weekend, right here in West Palm Beach in his winter White House. This as he flexes his military muscle as North Korea prepares to conduct another nuclear test. This, as you just mentioned, we have been watching the very latest from North Korea. Celebrations in Pyongyang marking the 105th an anniversary of birthday of North Korea's late founder Kim Il-sung, the grandfather of the current ruler. President Donald Trump's motorcade in West Palm Beach. This as the Air Force released video of 22 F-15s armed and ready to scramble from Kadena Air Force Base in Japan, just 900 miles from North Korea's capital. Despite warnings from U.S. and China, North Korea Vice Foreign Minister says his country will conduct another nuclear test. It, when asked if North Korea plans to conduct a test in the next few days, the nuclear test will take place at a time, at a place that the supreme leadership deems necessary. If the U.S. comes up with a dangerous military option, then the first card is in our hands. We'll deal with it with our preemptive strike. This means war. When confirms that if they feel like North Korea is going to be attacked, they will use nuclear weapons. Of course. The U.S. could launch a devastating attack by... Celebrations of a birthday of the late grandfather of the North Korean founder. Uh, we should tell you that South Korea analysts have said that the North might use this parade to showcase its strategic weapons, such as prototype intercontinental ballistic missiles. This is an emergency broadcast from. Hawaii to test nuclear warning system amid North Korea's threats. Hawaii is set to become the first state in the U.S. to test an attack warning system in the event of a North Korean nuclear missile strike. Starting in November Hawaii's disaster warning plan will include a new protocol in case of a nuclear attack, CNN affiliate KNHL reports. But some are concerned the announcement will scare off tourists from visiting the island. A guidance summary from the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency says residents will be alerted of nuclear detonation through siren alarms and flashing white lights. An emergency alert system will broadcast over television and radio frequencies as well. There are 4,661 miles of ocean between Hawaii and North Korea, making the island one of the closest U.S. territories to Kim Jong-un's regime after Guam and Alaska. Despite plans for testing a nuclear warning system, there is no need to panic.
Vern Miyagi, an administrator with the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency, told the affiliate. When I see stuff like, Hawaii prepares for nuclear attack, that's way overboard. We're not preparing for a nuclear attack, he said. This is just a hazard, like tsunamis and hurricanes that Hawaii faces. It's not impending. Miyagi added the threat of a nuclear strike is not mature. Odds are so small right now. Despite the alert system's label as just a hazard, some are wondering why it was announced at the height of Hawaii's tourist season. The odds are so small right now and the possibility of this happening is so remote, Maui Mayor Alan Arakawa told the affiliate. It's not worth getting everybody into a major economic situation to plan for a major attack. Hawaii is a critical outpost for the U.S. military, hosting naval and air force bases. U.S. Pacific Command, the military's headquarters for the Asia-Pacific region, is on the island of Oahu. While Hawaii is the first state in the U.S. to prepare for a North Korean attack, it's not alone on the world stage. Japan implemented a similar alert system after four North Korean missiles landed off its northwest coast in March, one landing just over 100 miles from the city of Oga. Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association President Mufi Hanman told the affiliate that the system should only make tourists more comfortable traveling to the island. We certainly have marketed ourselves as one of the safest places to visit if not in America, in the world, he said. If I were a visitor, I'd be pleased to know that Hawaii is taking steps and that I can continue to go there and feel safe. In case of an actual nuclear strike, residents are instructed to go inside and remain sheltered for 14 days or until they are told it is safe to leave. While in shelter, Residents should listen to local AM-FM radio stations for official information. But despite the possibility of a decline in tourism, Miyagi says it's still worth testing the new system, even if an attack isn't imminent. Probability is low, he said. But we just want to... So, these preparations are really stepping up now, this is by no means over. This is out of RT, the UK, which recently said it could launch a preemptive nuclear strike in the most extreme circumstances, runs the risk of being wiped off the face of the earth, the deputy head of a Russian upper house committee said. Tensions continue to build there. Also in North Korea, RT reports, 10-minute warning Japan instructs citizens on potential North Korea strike. Remember, we had the reports out of uh, South Korea back a couple of weeks ago. They were panicked, they were exchanging messages that, you know, an attack was imminent because that is what will probably happen. North Korea will launch the missiles into South Korea, into Seoul. Now, Japanese citizens are being warned about this. It would take 10 minutes, just 10 minutes for a North Korean missile to hit Japan. Tokyo estimates as tensions between the countries grow. Guidelines on what to do if a strike actually happens have been published online and have recently seen a huge surge in interest. So they've set up a new Japanese civil security website which says that a North Korean missile would reach the country in a very short time, adding that a missile could cover a distance of 1,600 kilometers and reach Japan in just 10 minutes. So they're telling Japanese people to basically find the, the most secure building. In the event of a strike, the government recommends citizens calmly go to the strongest concrete building nearby, stay low to the floor, or get under a table. So these preparations are really stepping up now. This is by no means over. Another article, North Korea stages firing drill marking military anniversary. Of course, we had speculation that they could use this anniversary, the 85th founding anniversary of their military, to stage that sixth nuclear test that the Trump administration has said will probably trigger a military attack on North Korea. They didn't do that, thankfully. Now they've just held a large drill. Signs are detected that North Korea's military is conducting a large-scale drill around the eastern part of Wonsan on the anniversary. So they seem to have scaled it back. Remember over the weekend we had China say, come out and say, if there's an attempt at regime change in North Korea, if they try to take out Kim Jong-un, as has been suggested, China will not calmly sit back and let that happen. They will, in almost all circumstances, counter-attack. 
And you know what that means. It means World War III and absolute chaos. In ancient times, man roamed the earth in a constant state of hunting or being hunted. Introducing Caveman, where cutting edge science meets ancient super nutrients. Secure your bottle right now at InfoWarsStore.com.